Hello, and welcome to Episode 7 of Novatel's on-demand webinar series on an introduction to GNSS. My name is Neil Garine. I'm the Director of Marketing at Novatel, part of Hexagon. Thanks for joining me. This is the final of seven episodes in our Introduction to GNSS webinar series. In past episodes, we've explored the calculations underlying GNSS, what the GNSS signal is made of, and how it's used to calculate a position. In this final episode, I'll demonstrate how GNSS positioning and its related technologies are used to solve positioning problems for a variety of users across industries. I'll cover GNSS positioning in agriculture, automotive, and defense industries. For a more expansive view of the industries relying upon GNSS, download our Introduction to GNSS book at Novatel.com. GNSS solves a user's positioning problem. While accuracy, resiliency, and even technical requirements differ across industries, at the end of the day, the goal is for GNSS to determine where you are in any environment. Today, we'll focus on three industries with unique positioning needs, agriculture, automotive, and defense, and explore how GNSS solves their positioning needs. In precision agriculture, GNSS technology enables farmers to improve efficiency with products and techniques that can cut unnecessary expenses on seed, fuel, agrochemicals, and time. These applications can include auto steering, variable rate seeding and spray applications, auto section control, and path planning. GNSS positioning must be incredibly accurate over the region, down to the centimeter in some cases, which is possible thanks to correction services. These services, which we explored in episode four, must be reliable even as the farmer passes by trees that can block satellite signals at headland turns at the end of a field. Because of the row-based nature of planting and harvesting, the relative pass-to-pass -pass accuracy of the positioning solution is a key metric for these users. These needs are different than those in the automotive industry. For the automotive industry, GNSS positioning provides everything from navigation support to the development of autonomous vehicles. While accuracy is integral to the safety of autonomous vehicles, manufacturers are looking for lane level accuracy rather than centimeter level. Further, because the vehicles aren't limited to a distinct geographic region, RTK-based correction services are not as effective as the globally available PPP services. As we saw in episode five on sensor fusion, a combined GNSS and INS solution is incredibly useful in a kinematic or dynamic solution like a moving vehicle. Sensor fusion with IMUs, LIDAR, photogrammetry, and more helps build positioning redundancy if the GNSS signals are disrupted while the car moves through downtown areas. Positioning and the GNSS signals must be resilient to multipath, block signals, and more. The automotive industry requires GNSS positioning that balances accuracy and availability with system redundancy and solution integrity. The defense industry, however, prioritizes signal resiliency. The defense industry needs a positioning solution that will continue delivering an accurate position even while in a contested environment. Episode six explains some of the specific technologies developed for contested GNSS environments. Resiliency of GNSS signals against interference is a major priority for the defense industry as well as global availability of signals and having built-in redundancy should GNSS signals be lost. One requirement of positioning in defense that we don't see in agriculture and automotive is the need for situational awareness. As we saw in episode six, situational awareness provides an understanding of undesired and malicious signals that may interfere with the desired position. It helps the user determine the best method to preserve GNSS signals and maintain their positioning solution. While well, each industry has its own unique needs and requirements of their positioning solution, the technology and concepts we covered in the past seven episodes outline how GNSS meets those needs. Hardware like receivers, antennas, and inertial navigation systems build upon each other with advanced algorithms for a holistic positioning solution. A solution's reliability and accuracy are strengthened through correction services. Positioning engines deliver real-time GNSS calculations while post-processing software can further refine the solution for use cases like surveying or mapping where the final position can be computed after the fact. These technologies and the concepts underlying them work together to deliver autonomy and positioning, assured. This concludes our on-demand webinar series introducing you to GNSS. I hope you found it informative. You can continue learning about intermediate and more advanced GNSS concepts through our other recorded webinars on Novatel.com. This webinar series was just one way to learn GNSS foundations. If you want to review what you've learned, you're welcome to download our free ebook, An Introduction to GNSS. Thanks for joining me.